Hello, it's Jackie with Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie. How are you tonight? I am eh, three minutes early. I was trying to get on even earlier. I have reached my 250 people. I'm at 251, so I am so, 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 so excited. And I'm gonna have my giveaway today. So I'm just very, very excited. Hi, Sharon, how are you? I'm very excited that I'm gonna have my giveaway tonight. So I am working on an image from uh, Dyes Digital. And this is um, the pudding, I think it's Holly, Holly pudding. And it is a Christmas pudding. Oh, somebody else is on, let me see who it is. Oh, I can't see, nobody's name has come up, but somebody else is on, because it says three. <laughs> anyway, this is a Christmas pudding, and Christmas pudding is traditional. A plum pudding is traditional at Christmas in England, and my mother is from Twickenham, England, and she came here to the United States. My father was stationed in England. He was with the Air Force first and then the Army, and he married my mother and had my two brothers in England, and then um, they came here. So every Christmas I make her... A traditional Christmas dinner and uh, so I when I saw this image I thought oh how perfect because we have plum pudding every Christmas and I thought I'd make her a Christmas card with it so that is what I'm doing tonight yes I'm so excited to have reached my number of people and tonight I am using my spectrum noirs because I do like to show that you don't have to just use Copics you can use anything you want all the alcohol markers work quite well and so I am going to do this plum pudding in a GB9 and GB7. I meant to bring down a plum pudding so I could show you guys what it looked like. They're not really all that pretty, but um, I did not bring it down. So I apologize. <laughs> I got busy and I didn't bring it downstairs. So I'm going to start with my GB9. And I am going to have my giveaway tonight. I'm going to use Comment Picker to pick a winner. And at the end so if you stick around and the stamp set I'm giving away is a Jan Jane Davenport it's brand new and it's open internationally to whoever wins I will mail it to you I will mail it to you on Monday I have to work all day tomorrow so I can't get to the post office so I will do it I will mail it to you I promise on Monday so whoever wins so good luck good luck to whoever so weird I can only see one person's name that's it I can't see anybody else on but it says four people so I don't know might just be my phone anyway again this is a Christmas a traditional Christmas pudding and I make it every I make one every year for my mother and I because it's just not Christmas without one truth be told I don't really like it but uh, I put bird's eye custard, which is a lovely, warm, um, creamy sauce. It's really yummy, and it makes everything you don't like taste really wonderful. So I use bird's eye custard, then I can eat it. I know that sounds odd, doesn't it? <laughs> but I make a tr traditional Christmas dinner for my mother every year. Uh, I make roast beef and... Um, Yorkshire pudding, peas, and um, brown gravy, and roasted potatoes every year for Christmas. It's just not Christmas without having a traditional Christmas meal. So that is what we have. And I love serving it. I like, I don't know, I just like making my mother happy on Christmas. So. It's not really my husband's favorite thing, so I end up making him his favorite meal for uh, Christmas Eve. So I do this for Christmas dinner with my mother, you know, and all our family. And uh, I make a different meal for my husband on Christmas Eve because I think really Americans tend to celebrate Christmas Eve more. Where uh, my mom, growing up, we celebrated Christmas Day more. So works out fine. It's okay. 
So this GB7 and GB9, they're actually quite similar. You might not be seeing the difference, but that's okay. I'm going to go over this again a little bit more. And these are my Spectrum Noirs, which I love equally to my uh, Copics. They're all good. And um, the more you comment, you know, chit, back, chit chat back and forth, the more chances you have of winning tonight. So you do want to you know, ch chat back and forth. Let's see who all's on. Oh, hi, Denise Bryant. How are you? Anya Collie's on. It says nine people, and I can only see three people. I just think that's so weird. Why don't I, why I can't see who's on? I don't know. Ever since that update with the iPhones, it just doesn't seem to work all that well with the comments. So I don't know who all's on. But comment, please comment. Because I'm going to use Comment Picker. I already have it on my uh, set up on my computer. So at the end, I can uh, pick somebody. And it is a Jane Davenport stamp set. And I don't even have one for myself. I should have bought two. So I had one myself. But I didn't. Because I went to uh, get it, pick one out for whoever wins. I wanted something special. And this one had a nice sentiment. And I thought, well, that was kind of special, so I got it. And I didn't get one for myself. So, anyway, so please comment. Now, you use your Spectrum Noirs just like you do your Copics, you know, with some shading and, and um, you know, working around the image a little bit and pulling out the color. So, that is what I am doing. So, I'm going to actually use my, um, oh, that is not the one I want. Let me grab the one I want. I'm going to use my um, light GB1 to kind of pull out this color a little bit. And then we're going to go in, and these are probably currants. A plum pudding, if you've ever made one, has everything you can imagine in it. I'm, I made a homemade one one time. Oh my gosh. I think it had 30, 30 ingredients in it. And I steamed it. It was really, actually the homemade one, homemade one was better than the store-bought one. Now I'm going to use my EB7. I'm going to go in here like this, like so, right in here, and fill this in. Then I'm going to do the rest. This image is actually fairly quick to uh, color, except those um, mice are a challenge. You might recognize these mice because if you take a class with Kitten Clowder, she uses these images a lot in her classes. And there was a the one where they were in the sailboat, the newspaper, you know, that was made into a sailboat. These are the mice here. But even though I was signed up for that class, I am not at, <laughs> I actually didn't get time to finish it. I'm still working on it over Christmas. I will do it. All right, so we have nine people on. Hi, Fatima, how are you? Anyway, I thought I would tell a little story about my mom once people got on, so I will tell, tell you. My mom grew up during um, the war and had to, to live um, out. If you've ever watched any old movies, the children had to, to go off to the countryside and live in areas that it was agreed upon that wouldn't be bombed, and so she didn't really live at home. And uh, food was rationed when she was growing up. And when she married my dad, he was not used to the rationing. You know, he had a much bigger appetite. And so my grandfather actually used to buy extra food, you know, like on the black market, get coupons, because they had coupons to get the food. He would actually buy extra food so my dad could have a little bit more food which was awfully kind of him. But um, anyway, when my mother came to the States, they, they lived in England for about four years after their marriage. And they, and she came over on a ship with two babies. It's a long passage, as you can imagine. And she said the first time she walked into a grocery store, she stood there and she cried because she said she had never seen so much food. That in the American grocery stores, we just had so much food out. And she had never seen all the fruits and vegetables and eggs and milk and just all that food in one place. And I, I always remember her telling us that story. You know, growing up, she, um, she made very small 
Mills because that's what she was used to. And uh, when I was married to my first husband and we went home one time over the holidays to visit and he wasn't used to how my mother cooked. So, you know, he was very polite and everything. And um, so every evening, his brother was with us too. Every evening we would leave go to a fast food restaurant so he could eat a little bit more food but anyway I just always thought what a, what a sad how sad when she told me that she cried when she went to a grocery store I just thought that was you know a tough tough life but anyway so my mother is very quirky you know um and would do it does do some odd things that from having grown up during the war and she has a cast iron stomach so she, when milk goes bad, she cooks with it. And, um, well, it makes me quite ill. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you what happened to me one time. I, we were, we are, we were Episcopalian, which is the Church of England. And my mother converted to Catholicism and she wanted me to convert. And you know how mothers are. She just wouldn't let it go. So I finally said, okay, I will convert. I will do it. So I had to take these classes for six months. And they were not very interesting classes. But I had to do it for six months. Sorry, I have to plug my phone in. Um, I had to do it for six months. And then um, I was... The, the priest was going down to each person and he had a candle and all of a sudden my stomach didn't feel so good and right about two people before me I had to run to the restroom I was ill and so I missed him um, doing his thing with me and he wouldn't um, he wouldn't budge he told me I had to wait till the next year and take those classes all over again so I'm now I'm using my golden brown blend to try to lighten this up just a little bit. So I took those classes all over again. And right at the end, I got in a car wreck. And there were lots and lots of steps up to the church. And I couldn't make it up those steps. So he told me, sorry, you're going to have to take those classes again next year. Well, in the meantime, that's we lived in Savannah, Georgia. And so I moved back here to Indiana. And when I got back here, <laughs> I talked to the priest here. And he said, oh, you don't have to take those classes again. Don't worry about it. You just come to this ceremony, which was outside. And they had a little fire pit going. And we're standing in a circle. And it's going to be all this, you know, really nice like, kumbaya moment. And <laughs> I saw smoke, like, come up. And I look down, and I don't see anything, and then smoke comes up again. And then all of a sudden, I realize that a piece, uh, you know, of ash got stuck, hit my shirt, my silky shirt, and um, caught my shirt on fire. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness, I am not going to do this again. So I just kind of grabbed my shirt and um, held it together and went through that ceremony. <laughs> How hilarious. But all because my mother, she had made scones the night, that first night. She had made scones, which were like my favorite thing. And she had used spoiled milk and it made me quite ill. So that's my, my story. And despite, despite all that, hi Denise. Um, despite all that, you know. I'm making this card because I absolutely want her to be happy on Christmas. All right, so for the um, custard, I am going to use uh, the um, FS6, FS7, and FS8. And I am going to, and then I'm going to use glossy accents at the end. And custard is kind of a, a yellowy color, so at the end I do, uh, I am going to use a yellow over the top to try to make it look a little yellowy. Um, and like I said, custard makes everything taste really good. Actually, I love to have it on bananas. It's wonderful. My mother will be very tickled when she sees this card. 
So that's why I thought, you know, for my live, this is what I'm going to do. And I think it's my last Christmas card I'm making. I've been mailing them out like crazy. So I'm hoping this is the last one. Are you guys still making Christmas cards? Or are you done? I mean, I'm sure I'm not really done because somebody will come over, they'll bring a gift, and then I'll feel guilty, and I'll make another, I'll run downstairs and, you know, put something together real quick. Because that's how I do things. But, um, you know, I'm hoping this is the last one because I've made quite a few. I'm just trying to uh, pull the color through. And I'm going to go over this twice. Just trying to get the paper kind of wet at the moment. And there is a lot of custard. So apparently these little mice, they also are like me and they don't really care for the Christmas pudding. They just have it every year. And so they have poured a lot of custard. Now you can put brandy and you can set them on set this on fire. And we've done that at Christmas. It's quite pretty to do that. So I'm just kind of pulling this through. Now these um, original ones, they do not have the paint end, the paint tip, which I really do prefer, but that's okay. They work okay. I feel like you have to work them a little bit harder and make the paper, um, you know, you have to work the paper a little bit more. So, um, but it's no big deal. I just wanted to show you that you can use, use whatever you have. Don't go out and buy special markers. Use whatever you have. Now, I think somebody was asking about sizing the card. You've been doing since May. <laughs> yeah, Denise. When you uh, print a, dizzy, di a digital image, you can make them any size you want. And I typically, typically make mine four inches tall, and then it automatically does the width. But sometimes if there's a lot of things, like this one there isn't, but there's a lot of things on your um, image, you might want to make it like 4.2. Now, um, some images, the girls, sometimes they have rather um, big heads, like some of the artists make them have really big heads. So sometimes I actually do those three inches because um, that's a lot of coloring to do. So you can actually do it as much at the size you want. And what I do is I have a, my paper and I will take it and make, put four different images so that I'm not wasting my paper. So that is how I do mine. I, I print four images per paper and then I cut them and I uh, color them and I have a little I'll show you I keep a little um, plastic satchel here and I put all my images in it that it's actually full I put the images in it and then at some point I will color them uh, that is how I do mine so I don't waste paper because paper you know is pretty expensive it's not cheap Although I have found that if you buy a 150 pack of the Copic paper, it works out to be uh, 40 cents a piece of paper. So that's actually not too bad. So that is that is how I've started buying it. Although I tell you, I, this is Sweet Sentiment paper and it is my absolute favorite paper. So what I do is for my lives, I typically use Sweet Sentiment paper for my lives and then for my everything else, for my practice, for everything else that I do, I use my Copic Express paper, which is also lovely paper. But I just have I have fallen in love with this sweet sentiment paper. I just can't buy it all the time. Um, you know, and, 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 and it's not too too expensive. I'm not trying to say it's shockingly expensive. It's just that I color a lot. So anyway, so digis are a great kind of they're a great bargain. You can buy about three or four digis or, you know, depending on the price, three or four digis for the cost of um, one stamp. So they're pretty economical and they don't take up nearly the room. The only problem is you need to really be organized on your hard drive and name your folders after the artist so you know who your stamps are by. And then when you save your file, make sure that you um, save it with the name of the stamp so you don't have to be searching for who did the stamp. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is take my light yellow, the LY1, and I am using the brush nib on this right here, and I'm just going to kind of go over my image because I want it, to, 
the custard to actually have kind of a yellow tint because custard actually is a creamy yellow. And I didn't have a really good creamy yellow. So I'm doing this and then I'm gonna use um, glossy accents at the end, which I'll, will give it a kind of a hazy look. And you'll see, and it comes, it'll come all together. It'll look nice then. So I'm just doing kind of a light brush with this over all my shading and you know, it'll look nice, it'll be fine. There we go. And then, like I said, I'm going to use my glossy accents, and it comes together. You know, actually, custard, when you cook it, it's kind of, it's kind of got a yellowy-pink tint to it. It's very hard to explain if you've never had it. Um, all right. So, now, let's do our mice. And if there's any questions, just let me know. I thought it was icing. I, no, I don't think. See, it's dripping down. I think it's custard. Don't you always put custard on your plum pudding, or are we just a weird family? I think it's custard. That's that's what I think, and that's what I'm going with. Um, this is a, a tri blend, so see, I'm using a mixture, and this is the brown gray blend, the BG2, the BG3, and the BG4, which is a light, a medium, and a dark. So this is what I'm using for my mice. And mice are harder to do. You've never had it. Oh my gosh, Sharon. You have never had custard? Oh my goodness. I love it. You know, something else that I love when you're in the UK that you, you cannot get here, and it's very hard to explain it to, to people in America. I am not a milk person. I don't like milk. But you get you can get this cream, and, and you can get heavy cream that comes out similar to, like, a little thicker than whipped cream. But you can also get cream, and you can just pour it on your desserts. And it's the way it's processed. Oh, my gosh. It is the best tasting it's just wonderful, but you cannot get it here in the States. And I can't even explain the taste, but that, that is like the first thing I do whenever I visit my family is I have some sort of dessert so I can have the cream poured over my food. Now I'm just doing light strokes. So just like little light strokes. I'm, I'm kind of heavy handed, so I have to be very, very careful. And I'm just doing little light strokes here where the hair's at. You know, cause I, you know, mice have quite a bit of hair. So I'm just doing light strokes. And then I am doing this like towards his face, just light, 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 light strokes. That's what I'm doing like this. Yeah, my mom is really gonna be tickled when she sees this card. Of course, um, like I said, she's a little quirky. It's the, that British humor, a little quirky. So she might make a comment. You can't take what my mom says too serious because otherwise your feelings would be hurt all the time. But I think she'll be tickled when she sees this card. It took her a couple of years to realize I was making cards. And once she realized I was making the cards, um, well, then she was quite nice about it. But before that, she was just like, read it, toss it, throw it in the trash. <laughs> so I learned it's the joy of making the card. It is not the response you get from the person. <laughs> so I'm just, you know, doing the hair like this. Anyway, so does anybody else have any cool stories about their family that has come here? The, the English might be quirky, but the Scots aren't. Well, I don't know about that because my husband is part Scottish and he's pretty quirky himself. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody's having a good evening and, you know, we all have interesting parents, I'm sure. Try not to get my hand in the way. And I'm just pulling the colors through. That's what I'm trying to do. I just think mice are the hardest little things to color. There we go. Just kind of pulling it through again. Over here by the arm. And his little feet. Okay. And then I'm going to take my um, pink. I have a baby pink P1 and PP2. So baby pink is PP2 and blossom is PP1. So I'm going to do his little ears. See, I love the brush nibs much better. And remember, 
somebody's going to be a winner tonight because I have gotten to my 250. So I'm going to pick somebody with Comment Picker. We're going to do it very fairly with Comment Picker. I have my computer all set up, and I'm going to pick somebody tonight to, to receive a free stamp. And then I'm going to have another giveaway when I reach um, 500, and I'm giving away a small set of Spectrum Noir markers. It's the Earth Tone set. So at 500, we'll have another giveaway. So, you know, share, like, follow the page. If you haven't liked my page, please like my page so I can get to the 500. And then I will do something special for the 1,000 members. So... Um, when I had a hundred, I gave away a stamp and a die set, but this time it's a nice Jane da Davenport set. So I think that you'll like it. It's kind of fun to have giveaways. I love little giveaways. I won a free, uh, di digi image from, um, Connie Fong, Fong this month. I was the random person, the random winner. So that was kind of nice. See, free stuff is very, very, very nice. And it's fun. It's fun to have giveaways and, and uh, share my joy of crafting with somebody. Okay, I just want to make sure I am using the right, the correct side, because I want the light. And this card, we'll put it together. It'll come together cute. And we'll do the glossy accents and uh, put it together for my mom. And then we'll have our little giveaway. Yeah, I went Christmas shopping yesterday. That was a lot of fun because I got to eat a, an adult meal. I enjoyed that. Trying to see if anybody has any comments. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. You guys are so nice. I think you guys are extra kind to me. Mice are my um, nemesis to color, I'll be honest. I think they're harder than hair. But the key is you want to have some shading and going, and it helps. Oops, you know what I did? I covered her his ears, but there's no mistakes in crafting. So let's just um, make the ear pink. It's okay. No mistakes in crafting. It's perfectly fine. Actually, maybe I like it even better. Yeah, I think I, I like it better with the, the gray in it, so it's okay. No mistakes in crafting. It's all art. There we go. Man, the semester for me is ending, and I am so, 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 so happy. Hi, Fatima. Oh, the two you know from Scotland are very talented. Yes, I think they are. And who is Stephanie on here? Let's see, say hi, Steph. I didn't see Stephanie on here. Oh, hi, Gail. How are you? Thank you for joining me. I loved your card. I loved the card that you did the other day with the background. Oh my gosh, you're so talented. I love watching you. You always do really cool backgrounds and pull it all together with your stamps and so cute. So that's a uh, stamping with Gail Sue. And then Sharon has the um, Noble Crafter. Sharon and uh, Kevin. So it's fun. And then there's Dawn with um, Stamp, uh, Dawn G Designs. So a lot of people to watch when you are watching lives. I, I try to catch everybody because I love to, uh, to watch all the lives. You always um, learn something and it's just kind of fun chit-chatting it's like my only grown-up talk and as you can see I'm a good talker I just talk and talk and I guess I should apologize all right I'm just doing little small strokes with the the mouse see I'm just trying to you know hair goes all different directions on mice so I'm just doing little short strokes and I'm not really um, going over it too much I don't want them to be super dark so and I'm actually gonna go ahead and color in the ear because I actually did like it better on this other one colored in and then have the pink over the top so I, I actually 
I wasn't fibbing when I said, oh, I think I like that better. So I'm gonna use my pinks again. I'm gonna use this pink around the edge and then pull it with the PP1. Pull it to the center. There we go. Yeah, see, I think I like that better than over here. See, because it's got a little bit more of a gray tone, so I do like that better, actually. Then I'm gonna um, pull a little bit more, because I think it needs to be a little bit darker around in here. I'm gonna just go in a little bit more just a little bit more kind of talk to myself when I do this because I'm concentrating and then just pull it through just a little bit more there we go I just think it needs a little bit more definition so that is what I'm doing now I'm not you know there's different ways some people like really hard lines I do not there's nothing wrong everybody's crafting is different when they color with markers there's not one, there's no Copic or Spectrum Noir police. There are some people that will tell you what to do, but don't listen to them because they don't know anything more than you do. Yeah, so you just kind of do a little bit of shading in here, a little bit more here. There we go. Now I think there's a little bit more definition and I'm a little happier with that. Okay, so let's move on. And I'm going to do my leaf and my berries. So let's go ahead and do our berries first. I'm using MG5 and MG4. So it's magenta and rose red. Yeah. Oh, thank you about the mice. And that was Denise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hello, Maureen. Um, <clears throat> nice that you joined us. And I'm so glad... To have so many people join tonight because I do want to have my giveaway um, I said I was gonna have a giveaway when I reached my 250 and I have reached 251 so I am so so excited you know I value everybody that follows along in my crafting journey and I thank you very much and I can't wait you know in January I am uh, on a second design team where I'm on KLM designs so I'll be bringing you some cute cute images I already have one, something in my head worked out and I can't wait to bring it to you so it's gonna be so fun so I'm on uh, two product design teams and then I'm on two challenge design teams and I love all the all four of them very much and I can't wait to share it all with you here we go so just pull this out a little bit more a little bit more okay I'm gonna shade just a little bit more with my mg5 because I feel like it needs just a little bit more around here a little bit more around here actually these markers are fairly new so they're really nice and I don't like this word but they're nice and juicy so um, it's not taking a lot of ink to really do a good job which is great okay so they're nicely I think they're nicely shaded and I am going to do the leaf next leaves and I am using um, DG2 which is bamboo and DG4 which is forest green Let's see. And Fatima, I would love to craft with you. Maybe sometime we can uh, just connect over Facebook and craft together. Because I just think that would be so fun. I love crafting with my friends. I'm always so busy because I teach full time. But we're getting ready for our winter break. So I'm going to have a little bit more time next week. Because my kids are still in school next week. So I'm hoping to actually get some crafting done. And I want to get my DT projects done for my KLM. But I am going to do a live with one of the products. That team, I don't have to do lives. But I still will because I like doing my lives. They're, uh, they're kind of fun. But anyway, so I'm just, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just kind of pulling the color through on the leaf. 
this is really um, not that difficult of an image. It just has a lot of small spaces. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I kind of marry my markers together like this, like so, so I can just kind of um, do it for shading purposes, kind of, see, because I, I don't have the three. I have the two and this four, and I don't have the three, and it, I feel like it needs, I need the in-between color. See, I, I feel like it needs, you know, just a little bit more. So that is what I'm doing. There we go. See, I think that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So then we'll go over here. <laughs> Two-fisted. I'm just going to bring this out like so. And these are holly. Holly berries. So my paper here, I was matching the colors up with my paper which is what I typically do is I pick my paper and then I pick my colors except for my custard custard is a specific color so that's why I went with that because actually I, I normally would have done a brown brown mice but for this image um, since the pudding was kind of a brown tone I thought it was better to do gray mice all right so I'm just pulling this color through and then I'm going to take this see it's folded over here so you want it a bit darker it's like the leaf is folded over right there so it's going to be a little bit darker and I'm just going to go like this kind of like that okay then I'm going to do these so make sure I'm using the right colors here and go in like so oh I'm so excited I can't wait to see who wins tonight it just does my heart so good that I finally head up to 251 I think that's wonderful please continue to like and share and follow my page because I would like to continue to grow and I do have a blog and I have a YouTube channel and I'm going to put some things out. I mean, I have things out on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to put a little bit more over next week. I've got some little quick videos to put out. All right. So I see something that I need to go back in and kind of color. There we go. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now, I see a little spot where I missed some custard. So I'm going to go back in with my marker. Whew, I'm getting closer to picking my winner. Now we have an expression here. It's such a serious expression. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know if you guys say that or not. Do they say that in Scotland, Sharon? I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to do my plate right here. And I am I'm just gonna pull out my colors. I'm gonna use this jade. And this is actually a tri-blend. So I, I, I do this just so you guys can see that you can use different markers. You don't have to use Copics, and if you use the Spectrum Noirs, they all play nice together. You can use the originals, you can reuse the illustrators, and they work together, and you can actually even mix brands. I was actually tempted to use the grays from another set that I have, my Dick Flick set, um, but I didn't. But one night I might use my Dick Flicks to show you that you can use uh, different markers. Okay, so this is the jade. I'm just going in where I, I want it to be a bit darker, like so. And I don't have a complete set of any. Of these markers when we do our lives it, it looks like we have so much and and some people do have a complete set I'm not saying that you know there aren't people that do not have complete sets but most people probably don't have as many as you think you just pick good color combinations that work for you and that's what you use that's what you kind of stick with so I'm just going in and they do work a little bit different from each other. I, I think that the Copics um, glide a little bit better or differently. 
but I like my Spectrum Noirs for detail work. I, I, and I love some of the colors with the Spectrum Noirs. I love the oranges and the yellows, especially at, um, during the fall. They were my go-to set for my fall cards. I'm just going through. And because these are all fairly new, I'm not having to do a whole lot of going back over because they, they, they're just very, they just got a lot of ink in them. So see, I'm just going like this, like so. There we go. And right here, I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. And you are layering, layering colors really more than you are blending. So you can go back over things as many times as you want. Sometimes you have to let your ink dry a little bit, but that's okay. <clears throat> it's perfectly fine, okay? I'm just going in with my gel pen and I'm smudging a little bit. It kind of gives it a nice, um, gives it a bit of a sheen. So I'm just kind of going in and it's the heat from your, um, your finger. See, it just kind of gives it a nice little sheen. So that is what I'm doing. Just going in just a little bit. Although I, I, I don't have my nails all fancified. So see, I'm just kind of going in, gives it a nice little sheen. So that is what I'm doing. Okay, we're almost there where I will be picking my Winner, I'm gonna put the, um, I'm gonna assemble the card and then I'm gonna put the glossy accent because if I put the glossy accent on now, you know, I'll stick my fingers in it and we don't wanna do that. So let's see, if there was anything else I need to color. Okay, let me assemble and then I will do my glossy accent at the end and, uh, and then I will pick my winner. So I've already uh, put together my paper quite a bit and this was a uh, doodle bug paper is what I have here. It's a Christmas, one of their Christmas um, sets that I've had for a long time. So that is what I'm using. And I'll symbol this. I'm so glad you guys have joined me and I can't wait to top tip. Hmm, what is that? Yeah, I, my, my um, Facebook and my blog and my YouTube channel are, are all Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie. I, and my Instagram, I kept, and my Pinterest, <laughs> and my Split Coast Stampers account. I tried to keep everything consistent. But I have some videos next week that I am publishing that are on making um, some Christmas tags. And so those will be out next week. Okay, and so I wanted to have these pretty little stars hanging. And so um, that's what this image is, what I did. And they almost took more time to assemble than coloring this whole image. <laughs> I can't wait to pick a winner. And what I wanted to do was just um, do this at a slant, like so. I, I liked these stars. Uh, when I saw them and I wanted to use them. So I thought, you know what, for my mom, I was going to use them. She's not as much into the bling as, um, like I love glitter. She's not as much into it, but I just thought that was so pretty. See? Okay. And so then I will put on my little mice and I'm going to pop them up and I have my sentiment and then I'll put my glossy accent on and then I'll pick a winner. And I hope you guys will continue to follow me on my little crafting journey. Uh, KLM had uh, some free stamps in a magazine recently of, um, oh, gnomes, some gnomes. They were really cute. I don't know if anybody has um, gotten them or not. And they had a contest with the first 50 people that commented got a Santa Claus, which I'm going to color. I have gotten. So I guess I do have another Christmas card because I'm going to color that one. <laughs> and I'll be posting that. So I hope you guys can see me. I hope I'm not off camera too much. 
here we go I'll take these off yeah I always pick my colors based on the paper I'm using I think it makes it easier and uh, I went to Tuesday morning and that is where I got these little gold stars when we went Christmas shopping for the kids yesterday I did have to stop on Tuesday morning because we live in a really rural area and I don't get to go to the city very often and I was so excited to go into Tuesday morning oh my goodness my poor husband and I did confess up I told him I'm really going in here for myself and not for other people all right so I wanted to do that at a slant and then I already did my sentiment. I did some of this ahead of time, just simply because I wanted to be able to, to do my, um, to do the comment picker. I wanted to focus on that because I really am so thankful to you guys. Here we go. And like I said, I am gonna do some shorter videos because I know a lot of my videos on my YouTube are from previous lives. And I need I want to do some shorter videos of some tips and different things so it says tis the season and I put some little um, jewels so there we go and I am going to go ahead and do my glossy accents and then I am going to pick a winner and I do lives on um, Wednesdays at 6:45. well actually I'll I, I might continue doing them at 7. I was doing them at 6, going to start doing 6.45 because Gail had an 8 o'clock slot, but I don't know if she's going to continue to do an 8 o'clock slot. I, I imagine she will. I imagine she'll still have 8 o'clock. So I will be doing my Wednesdays at 6.45. So that way I have an hour and get done and she can do her live at 8 and I'm not uh, running into her live and you know stealing her time or anything so I don't want to do that we're all friends and I want to make sure that I um, get off in time for her so I do my lives Friday at 7 and uh, Wednesday at 6 45 now this will dry and it'll give it a nice hard gloss um, on the camera you might not be able to see it I don't know but it will give it a nice hard draw, hard uh, gloss. My mom will be impressed. She's gonna love this card. She's gonna think, "What a good daughter," you know. So this is this is the card. And so if you just give me a moment, I'm gonna do the comment picker, and I will tell you who has won. So it'll just take me a moment. Talk among yourselves, and let me uh, let me go in here and see if I can pick a winner. Let's see. All right, there is my video. And then I'll go into comment picker. And here we go. Here we go. And let's see who it picks. Let's see. Okay. Oh my goodness. Um Fatima. Fatima is the winner. So I will be sending a stamp set to Fatima. So if you will send me a private message um, with your address, I will send you out on Monday your stamp set. And it is a Jane Davenport stamp set. It's actually adorable. And I should have bought two. I, I don't know why I didn't. So I could have one. So congratulations, Fatima. Um, I'm so excited. And... I'm going to have another drawing at 500, so one of somebody else might win. I hope you do. And I, I thank everybody, absolutely everybody for watching tonight. And in my eyes, you guys are all winners. I, I just so appreciative to all of you. Now, uh, before I get off, I don't know if you guys think I should add anything else. I do have some little snowflakes. Um, yeah, I have these little snowflakes. And I didn't know if I should add like some red ones or just leave the card as is so the first oh hi Sandra um yes yeah, Sandra you're gonna have to watch the replay I'm so sorry so sorry um the first person that tells me whether to add snowflakes or not that's what I'm gonna go with so I have these little ones 
Uh, they're different colors, and I could add either the greenish. I think the red would probably maybe look better. Or this whitish one that actually matches the custard. So you guys tell me. First person that answers. Oh, yes to the snowflake. Okay. I'll take one out, and you see what, what, what you think. Okay. I won't pop it on until you actually say, yeah, pop it on. So I could add, see, a snowflake. Um, and it's got red. I'm trying to pull out one, another one that has red. You know, I could put a couple of snowflakes like that. What do you think? So the card is gorgeous. Keep as is. As is looks pretty. Oh, okay, okay. I'll take that off. I didn't stick them down, so I didn't waste my sticky. I'll use them on something else. Okay, that is my card. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and for commenting and for participating and for liking my page and making me feel so good. And um, I love sharing time with you. I, I do. Every single week, I love sharing time. And thank you for all the lovely, wonderful comments. And um, remember, you can mix and match your Spectrum Noirs. They work perfectly fine. Um, alcohol markers are all whatever brand they are they're wonderful so good night you guys thank you for watching